Hello again, Bob. This is Andrew from Camping World. Take two here. I think the last one I just spent too long on and it was too big a file. So I'm going to do a quick walk around here. All right. And here we go. So there it is. It's definitely um, needing a bath. Okay. It got a uh, cleaning when it first got here, but it really needs to take a uh, walk through the detail department here. I'm just going to show you a couple things here. There's some, a couple scratches I noticed here. And then there are some scratches, some minor scratches on this side going down this side. Looks like he might have hit some uh, brush or something. And I'll show you the scratches on the other side too. Uh, keeping up a pace here, just going to pop open the storage compartments, which definitely do need a cleaning inside. So, got that there. That's a pass through one there. And got these two right here. All right. Uh, here is. Let's handle the water tank is one of these. Got a little more storage there. Definitely needs a cleaning. I don't know if you can see the scratches. Oh, I see my reflection there. Um, <laughs> scratches on this door right here. Anyway, big water tank here. All right, so the storage doors are staying up. This is the one I was mentioning that uh, didn't. Okay, that was just access to uh, some water lines there. Here's the scratches that are really kind of visible. And uh, boy, all I'm getting is a reflection of me there. But uh, I don't know if you can see those there. All right, just got a uh, holding tank there. 50 amp power cord here. All right, diesel generator, way, 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 way better than a, than a propane generator there. And then that's the only other storage on this side here. The other one is the propane uh, holding tank and then batteries. All right, keeping a pace up here. Of course, this has the uh, the V8 International 300 horsepower. I think it's about five, 560 or so on the um, on the torque power awning up there. Okay, inside. So, kind of give you a view here. All right, booth there on the um, refrigerator here. It has plastic on it that's a protective plastic that comes on from the factory and they never took it off so I imagine it's in pretty good shape under there. Got the uh, what they call a composite countertop which is a Corian type uh, countertop there. Have the um, television in the fireplace there. Got a couch there and by the way the couch and the front seats here. Let me don't get dizzy here while I flip around. Front seats there. Have the um, ultra leather on them, which is very comfortable and very durable too. It's good stuff. Okay, so bunk beds here. Each of them do have a little uh, DVD player here. Okay. All right, and a little night light that comes on, or a reading light that's actually on the DVD player. Okay, coming around to the bedroom there. It's got the king bed. It pops up like that. You can see that's actually uh, to shorten it up when the slide out comes in. Okay and into the bathroom here good size shower there and there we go with the rest of the bathroom and coming around here here's the uh, the half bath okay and this is this is what I was talking about as far as the um, washer dryer goes I mean the cabinet down there all the way up there would probably be eh, big enough for the uh, stackable with the bottom cabinet there, like I said, it has the uh, dirt devil there and then some uh, hoses in there. So, all right, I will uh, obviously get this off to you here. So, thanks. We'll be in touch. Bye-bye.